up next, it's a flyweight matchup between Juicy A. Formiga and Ray, the Taz Mexican Devil Four. from any position is truly elite. Ray Borg enters the octagon, ready to go to bat. difficult to take down and once you do get him down he gets back to his feet very swiftly juicy a formiga ready to battle tonight inside Rio arena our tail of the tape for this flyweight fight Borg is 22. Formiga is 30. He is one inch taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, playing out of the new corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of nine wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Ray, the Taz Mexican Devil, Boy! And now comes his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Natal, Brazil, Juicy A. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Borg. Black trunks for Formiga. Borg with a strong leg kick. Tagged him. Wow, what a great job mixing things up. Formiga with a good leg kick. They have started this fight off with a brawl. Fainting with that kick. That jab is lightning fast. One overhook, one underhook. Looks like he's got double underhooks here. Wow, that was a quick takedown. Half guard. Formiga's got it back in half guard now. Borg gets it back into his guard. Uh -oh. He mounts. And he lands the punch. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. And he's back in the guard. Defense here on the ground. He's got that one arm trapped. He got his hips well enough to get back to half guard. He's looking for the inverted triangle. And now he's able to force himself free. Inside control once again. 
Joe, he's showcasing some great movement on the ground. Trying to take the back here. Formiga gets back to side control. Great transitions on the ground. Wow, look at that. How good is that? Uh-oh. Hip escape. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. He's got half guard. Tries to pass, but can't. He's taking his back now. to that position. And there's a reversal. Trying to get into position to get that rear naked choke. He's free from the rear naked choke. And he executed a very nice sweep here and wound up in guard. Joey's got one leg free. He's in half guard now. Always keep him busy from the bottom. Great position. He's got him mounted now. here. Side control. Nicely done. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Side control. Nicely done. 20 seconds on the clock here in the round. Oh, he grabbed an armbar here. from the bottom by Bull. Moves to half guard. Trying to get into side control here. Can't make it. Oh, Round one go. comes to a close. And there you see some nice judo being utilized. Let's take a closer look at that from a different angle. And let's get a better look at it from a different angle. The beautiful Ariani getting us set for round number two. Two. Juicy A in this ground game has been very dominant, and he was the much better fighter in that last round. Yes, his ground game was clearly dominant in that round. You could see the timing in the takedowns and the control of the top position. An amazing job. Look at that eye, man. That is a mess. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. Good sprawl. Good sprawl here. Nice inside leg kick. Softening his opponent up. That huge kick to the body was blocked. Misses with the kick. He lands the hook to the body from the clinch. Now he's got him in the plum clinch. Back to over under. Good body control, Joe. Yeah, he got those double underhooks. Joe, he's keeping very busy. Look at the numbers. Total strikes on him. That's 
Oh, big takedown. That's take a down. huge takedown. That Vicious was a elbow nasty elbow. To the head. Moves to full guard. We're back in the half guard. So they're going to stand him up. Works pass to nine. And the mount. Mount. Full mount. Not good. He nailed him with that right hand. hand. And now looking to finish by submission. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. Almost had the arm bar. Inside control. Great work from the bottom by Formiga. Now he's in guard. Found a home for that. And he's able to get back up to his feet. Good connection with the straight by four. Oh, he yeah, completes the suplex. Two remain. Side control again. Half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Man, some nasty body shots. And you can see the bruising starting on the left side. starting to get worse. Side control. That will do it for round number two. And here's a big slam. Nice technique. And here we see a perfectly executed suplex. And here we see it from a different angle. Amazing highlights from that round. I hear some water. Now listen, I want you to stay sharp. Don't get sucked into that crap. I want you to get out there and fight smart. This is our... Jenny getting us set for round three. Last round. 
Ray Borg's ground game was really on display. Excellent control in that round. Excellent positioning. It was a real grappling display. Now and there's the big takedown. The bruise on his torso is getting bad. Borg's inside control again. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's looking to pass here, Joe. Nice movement on the ground. He's now working from side control again. The clinch. Joe, there we see our total strikes landed so far. He's got the double. And he's got his back here. Hey, oh, good take beautiful, down. beautiful throw. Get the scramble. Get the scramble. Get Moves to north-south. Got the double underhooks. Snapping that chest. Both men landing in that exchange. And back up. And he gets the single leg. Three minutes remain in this third and final round. Now falls back into guard. He's going after an arm. He's controlling the forearm. Throws the leg over the face. Now he's got to extend his body. He's going to extend the body. It's very close here. And he's free. That was a deep arm bar. Side control. He got tagged there. Wow, quick movement on the ground. That bruise on his torso is getting much worse. Hurt with the right hand. hand. Oh, big shot. Solid right hand. Try to take the back, I think. He's got the hooks. Ward's trying for the choke. Break the grip. 60 seconds remains in this fight. Outstanding. Bus. It is all over. Wow! Won the fight by armbar. Beautiful job. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. And we see here, as soon as this armbar gets locked in, there is no escape. Perfect technique. Tremendous pressure. And one more time from this angle, we can see that armbar locked in tight for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, three seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar. Hey, Mexican devil! 
Reborn gets the submission victory here tonight.